how long have you been a band? As you simultaneously, yeah. that's how you know you've been together and there's that connection. You go for the milkshake at the same time. Oh, we time. share the same brain sometimes. <laughs> sometimes, yeah. So what were your musical backgrounds? I mean, what, what was your musical experience before the band? <laughs> um, wow, that's a really long answer for me. I'll try to shorten it. I've got um, time. All right. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I'm from Youngstown, and uh, I grew up really loving Left End and Led Zeppelin. My dad plays drums as well, and um, which you'll see him at Super Wave shows. And um, we, we really had that bond over music, and he's a real 70s rock guy, and you know, John Bonham's the greatest drummer in the world to us. So. Um, all through high school, that's kind of all I listened to. And um, I went to college for music. I have two degrees in music, music performance, music education. And, uh, and then I went and lived in London, England for 10 years. And over there, I was in a signed band. Um, and I got to tour Europe and the UK um, in an all-girl band, in a trio. So um, yeah, I had all this. I mean, I was in a wind ensemble and orchestra and symphony and all that stuff. And have really wide ride experience and range of music. Um, but then my, I guess my heart is really just like that 70s rock, yeah. you know, that first thing that I loved the most. For me, I started out in school, like in uh, elementary, middle school, in like choir, doing a lot of uh, theater, choir, um, productions throughout. And then um, I really started uh, taking to songwriting. And uh, that was probably about like seventh, eighth grade, I started just like writing a lot of lyrics and then turning them into melodies, but um, I didn't play anything at the time. So I was really trying to accompany myself. So I asked for a guitar for Christmas and um, I was lucky enough to, you know, get that big present. That was my big present yeah. that year. And um, along with like a few lessons and stuff. So uh, that's when I really started kind of honing in more on uh, rock music itself. I mean, with lessons and looking stuff up and uh, I don't know, so that, that was the start of that for me, and then um, I went away to college for a little bit in uh, Chicago and started doing a lot of like singer-songwriter things there, mm -hmm. uh, and then ended up moving home to finish school here at YSU, and I just kind of continued that um, acoustic singer-songwriter uh, thing for a while, but I was part of a, a cover band, like a rock band. Uh, for a little while and it was awesome but I really wanted to go back to like original music and uh, I did that a lot in my acoustic work but I was really missing that like the band feel I was really missing like rocking out and uh, I don't know, don't know that band. That was yeah and have you noticed any sort of evolution from that to today I mean you kind of touched on you know maybe it's acoustic but then you're like no we're just going electric yeah. so was there any have there been any other changes yeah we used to do like a mixed thing and i used to just play on this cocktail kit which is a smaller drum set because i i don't know i really don't know why we did that i, I don't know if it was like again like transition or we just we just didn't find our thing yet i feel like you know it was like looking in the dark it was like you were like kind of close to it but you weren't like on it yet and once we got on it but really just like grew into like what it is now yeah. really easily and really organically which is one of the things when other people like interview us what have you they'll always say man you're so like organic in a way and it's, it's true you know because it, it i don't know i can't explain it it was just like this little it's like it's like the essence of it finally came out and i think just going through experiences together over the last year and a half or so and yeah the festivals we play the wow. good and the bad yeah, yeah you know everything has really, I think, um, made an impression on our playing, and I, and I feel like we've embraced this new attitude uh, within the last, I don't know, well, probably since, what was that, September, October we played in Pittsburgh, and um, we just embraced it. It was like, you know what, no matter what, it's given to us, good, bad, whatever, yeah. we're just gonna make the best of it, and we're gonna do what we do, and love it, because I, I don't know. Yeah, we just we took all those expectations off, Yeah, you know? Because you, you go into some things, like we were talking about upstairs, you, know, you go into some things and, and you get there and they're like, oh, there's no microphone. And you're like, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, guess we're uh, so, toning it down. Yeah, so we're always kind of like, you know, we just have to do it ourselves. It's like, just bring everything we own and like, come hell or high water, we're doing this. Like, we got rained out at Wick Park. We were supposed to play the Wick Park Why? concert series. Actually. 
Yeah, so we were supposed to be the first one. It got rained out and got canceled completely. We got moved to the end. We get to the end. It's like a beautiful sunny day. All of a sudden, after we're set up and everything, pouring down rain. And amazingly, the people that attended that stayed. Through the rain. Nice. Waited for it to clear up. And they were like, you know, if we stay, will you do the show? And we were like, yeah. That's awesome. That's got to feel it ended great. Up, it ended up being yeah. like one of the best shows we did yeah, in the summer. It really was awesome. Because the audience was so receptive. And they really appreciated that we gave everything, even though... The situation was there. Yeah, whatever. We just did it, you know? Since you both moved away from Young Sound and then came back, um, did you notice anything or appreciate anything more when you came back? Like, yeah. Yeah, I think this is funny. We actually had this conversation um, earlier this week. I think it was, for me, it was very hard to come back. I, I was uh, so young, you know, 19, going to college, yeah. living in the big city, loved every second of Chicago. My, I mean, my heart is still there, partially, I think. I really do love that city. Um, and it was just a new experience, you know, more culture, more diversity, which I do think we have here. I just think it was on a bigger scale. And uh, it was very hard for me to come back and, until I kind of fell into this band and, and made my my peace with that. And then now I do appreciate being here, having, um, you know, living in Chicago is so expensive. I would have had to spend every penny on rent. I, I, you know, I couldn't afford the equipment I have now or, you know, a, a nice place where we can set up a practice space, you know, things like that. I think um, I am meant to be here. Maybe, you know, I, I uh, think I can accomplish all of those goals that I had when I was younger and can do it from here as well. And I, I think I really have found an appreciation in that. Yeah, I mean, for me, London is like the New York City of Europe. Everyone in the world is there. So you're gonna have lots lots of culture and lots of diversity there. And especially like going on a tour of Europe, things like that. And um, like other people would kind of say like, you're gonna go back to Youngtown. Or like people here would be like, you left London. Yeah. And it's kind of like, but those people never lived there. They've never left here. So um, for me, when I grew up over here, like I said, I grew up on the west side off Mahoney Avenue. So uh, <clears throat> when I was growing up, downtown was closed, closed up, right? And uh, Mahoney Avenue Bridge was closed for like two years. And uh, my parents, I remember like when I started driving, I was like, you don't drive downtown, you know? Like, okay. And um, so for me to come back, and it, find it like swinging and full of life. Like I love Susie's, I love Christian Reinhardt, he's someone who does a lot for the community. Um, I was so excited to be a part of it and I, st I still am. And I, I feel like the streets are lined with gold and I feel like if you can make it here, then you can make it anywhere. So same thing, you know?